Joker was killed by bullet to the head. From the news report, we can see that Batman was there when it happened, and that the Joker was preparing to launch biological attack on Gotham. It is still unclear if Batman had anything to do with his death, or he simply witnessed it. There are events that freeze time, that ripple through collective consciousness of a city, a nation, a world, bringing life to a sudden standstill. For many, the assassination of Joker was one of those events. It was as if people across the globe, even those many thousands of miles from Gotham City who'd never encounter him, breathed a collective sign of relief. As if terminal disease that had invaded the very cells of the human race had been suddenly eradicated. And if any among us mourned his passing, those tears were shed in private. But to understand the Joker's end, we have to go back to another ending. To a teenager fighting for his life, and against impossible odds, winning. His name was Jason Todd, known to the world as Robin, the so-called Boy Wonder. And it was a wonder that he was still alive. As for the man, the ivory-skinned lunatic who nearly killed him, he was having a very bad day. Iranian government showed up to discuss revoking of Joker's diplomatic immunity. Government of Iran had second thoughts about his status as ambassador. His presence on world stage would prove inimical to their nation's security. Joker gets mad and unleashes his laughing toxin, paralyzing them so he can torture them slowly and painfully. But before he can do that, Batman shows up, really mad for what Joker did to Jason Todd. The two starts fighting and Joker jumps out of a window to escape. Batman follows, but Joker uses some kind of jetpack to quickly get to his ship. As he got on the ship, he started singing thinking he got away. Just as he thought he got away, he notices Bat Drone following him. Batman destroys his ship, leaving Joker to drown. Superman shows up to save Joker. He then starts complaining to Superman that Batman left him to drown, that he tried to kill him. Superman then questions Batman if he knew he was following them and counting on him to save Joker. And Batman responds, if that's what you'd like to believe, who am I to contradict you? Joker is then taken to Arkham Asylum. While there, Batman talks with Dr. Stoner about his interesting philosophy. He thinks he can help Joker and that there is no evil, just gradations of good. He tries to see good in all people, especially the inmates of Asylum. His job is to awaken that good and heal their broken minds. Batman thinks he is more delusional than his patients. Doctor explains that there is no better place to put that belief in action than here. He would rather fail in service of delusion than succeed in a world of cynicism and despair. Later at the Wayne Manor, Alfred and Bruce have discussion with Jason Todd. He is healed and looks stronger every day, but still refuses to eat. They try to comfort him and to get him to go outside, but it proves futile. His body recovered, but his mind maybe never will. Jason goes for a walk outside and runs into Dick Grayson, who joins him. Dick talks to him and promises not to give him lectures. If someone knew what he was going through, it was Dick. After all, he was the first Robin. He was closest thing to a brother Jason had. Jason respected him, admired him, and was jealous of him too. But he was also only soul on Earth who understood what it was to be Batman's partner. So they walked and talked not about anything significant. They just talked as brothers do and even laughed. Dick was certain that Jason with a little time and care would be his old self again, but he was spectacularly wrong. Guest arrived at mansion, it was Dr. Sarah. She was expert for trauma patients. She was really skeptical about Bruce trusting her, a young woman to help the child he loved. While they talked, Jason was listening at the door. He thinks Bruce wants to send him to some institute. He snaps at Bruce and says some really horrible things that hurts him like it would to any father. Doctor tells Bruce to give him some time and let him calm down, but that was a big mistake on her part. He dresses up as Robin and leaves. Meanwhile, chaos was developing at Gotham Museum. Jonathan Crane, better known as Scarecrow, was releasing his fear toxin. Releasing fear in others hidden in their psyches and releasing monsters within. Robin shows up to prove to Bruce and to prove to himself even more that he could push through trauma and back into the world. He kicks Scarecrow, which sends him flying. They started fighting and Scarecrow realizes that Robin is there alone. Jason wears a mask to protect him from fear gas, but has isn't the only method for delivering chemical into bloodstream. As toxins enters his body, Jason realizes he wasn't ready and that he made terrible mistake. He falls on the ground and gets shocked as he hears Joker's voice. Joker shows up with a crowbar and starts beating him with it. Suddenly Joker stops and blood starts dripping from his forehead. He has been shot by a woman who appears to be Jason's mother. Joker falls on the ground dead while Jason embraces his mother. 
only to realize it's not his mother at all, it was the Scarecrow all along. Jason falls on the ground from shock. Scarecrow is happy how that went certainly well and plans to take Jason with him to learn secrets about him and Batman. Just in time, Batman shows up and punches Scarecrow straight to the face and starts pummeling him, beating him up pretty badly. Police shows up and stops Batman from killing him. Police then take Scarecrow and tells Batman to better look after the kid. Bruce says that the way officer said the kid made him feel humiliated, ashamed. And Jason, he said, never looked more like a kid than he did in that moment. So vulnerable. Batman picks him up and says, I'm here Robin, I've got you and I promise I'm never letting you go. As he was saying that he shed tears. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends and subscribe. Have a good day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.